people of the world broadcasting live from this place and you are watching me. In this video, I will do my essay presentation for the final project of midterm semester assignment. But before going to my presentation, I would like to introduce myself. I am Gita Angelina Putri, a student from Sector Public Accounting class of 2-3 and my presence number is 10. My topic of essay is traditional games for better social skills. Now, let's go to my presentation. First of all, I would like to ask you some questions. What do you usually do on weekend? Is it swimming? Is it playing badminton? Is it watching movies? Or maybe playing games? I know almost everyone spends their weekends with having fun, recreation, going to some tourist destinations, or having me time. But one thing that most people do is refreshing their mind by playing games. Due to the fact that there is a rapid advancement of technology, it has a significant impact on the games that people choose these days. There are so many kind of games in this whole world and we're going to discuss one of it. Traditional games. Have you ever tried to play traditional games on the weekend? Have you ever think like, oh, I want to spend my weekend playing and click with my besties? I don't think so, because people nowadays prefer to play online games or games on their mobile phones. The reason is, these games can be played anytime and anywhere, unlike traditional games. But do you know that traditional games are not just games for fun, but have any other good impact? Here's, I'll tell you. Traditional games for better social skills. Traditional games are not only enjoyable, but can also be a major turning point for your social skills. What's that means? Traditional games are one of the learning methods that can be used to learn social skills. Why do we need to improve our social skills? Improving social skills is essential for establishing a relationship with others. It improves our communication skills with other people, improves cooperative teamwork, and helps us become effective, caring, and concerned person of our communities. At the same time, it teaches us how to set and achieve our goals and persistence. It helps us in all aspects of our life. But rather than being innate, social skills must be learned and practiced. It means that people are not born with them, and they can shift over time. No one is born a good communicator. No one is born a very genius troubleshooter. It being developed by everyday experiences and need to be practiced. How do I start to learn these social skills? It's easy. Let's begin with playing the traditional games. This is a very effective method that Indonesian people used to teach people about life lesson since all the people likes to play. By playing traditional games, we can train ourselves to be more comfortable working in groups, determine the best problem-solving strategies, and communicate with others. Now, I want to explain about three reasons why I agree that traditional games can improve our social skills. Firstly, traditional games are typically played in groups, so it can get people used to working in groups. People can hunt their emotions through group activities which will result in an increased tolerance and empathy for others. Group games always involve much social interaction. Reading dialogues or hearing about how to behave in front of other people can only get you this far. But through real interaction with others, you acquire the real nuances of social life. I want to give you an example about traditional games. Go back Sodor. Gobak Sodor is one of the traditional games in Indonesia, especially in Java. If you are 17 years old or older, maybe you know or ever played this game. In this game, players are divided into two teams, three up to five percent each team. One team will be on the defense and the other is going to play offense. The defense team's goal is to block anyone from the offense team that want to reach the finish line. While every member of the offense team must break through to the finish line and then back into the start line. The often teams considered one if one of the members can reach the finish line and back to the start line again without being touched by any member of the defense team. The two teams will be switched if one member of the offense team is touched off or out of the border field. There are many benefits from playing this game. This game will help you to train your teamwork, strategy, concentration, speed, and agility. At all that moment of playing this game, Empathy is clearly demonstrated. How we as an offense team keep our teammates from being touched and how we as defense team 
together protect the area that we have. In a game, of course, there are winners and losers. The tolerance value can also be seen when the losing group accepts their defeat humbly and sincerely with all the respect for the winning group without being mad or angry. Now, I'm going to tell you the second reasons why I agree that traditional games is very effective to improve our social skills. It is because traditional games enhance our ability to devise problem-solving strategies. In playing the games, it requires effective collaboration among players to achieve the mission goals. Games are widely thought to be one of the best ways to train acute decision-making skills that could be applied in daily life and workplace. It means that players of this game were better at making quick decisions in real time and properly allocating brain resources in different environments. Without a doubt, this skills of quick decision making is a great one to have in a fast paced environment like office. I want to give you an example about traditional games. Chunklack, a board based game using stone to put it on each all on the board. It's one of the most difficult traditional games in Indonesia since it requires strategy and calculation to make a move. However, this game is very popular among Indonesian. Chunk Club is usually played by two up to four people. It needs a board consists of seven holes facing each other and one additional hole in each team. Each player needs to circle the sets until there are no more sets on the 14 holes. The player who has more sets in their hole is the winner, which means you need to calculate where your sets will end. If your set ends in your opponent hole, your turn will end and your opponent will start their turn. It can be a bit strategic since you can't predict where your set will end. If it ends on your opponent hole, you can take over their board and win the game. Lastly, the reasons why I really agree that traditional games can improve our social skills is traditional games necessitate exceptional teamwork abilities to win. In this case, each team member is encouraged to develop their interpersonal intelligence, which is related to their ability to understand, communicate, and coordinate with others. Interpersonal intelligence refers to the ability to a person that relate well with people and manage relationship. People with interpersonal intelligence seem to stand out in a crowd as people with lots of friends and can easily adapt to social situations. They communicate effectively and enjoy participating in discussion and debates. I want to give you an example of traditional games. Balak Bakiak. Balak Bakiak is a unique traditional game that requires a team to wear the same pair of Bakiak and rest to the finish line. Bakiak is a traditional central Japanese wooden sandal having straps made out of used tires. It requires a team to be extremely compact to walk quickly to the finish line. The incompatibility will cause the team to fall and possibly lose. The team must be able to communicate well about the tempo or writing of walking. The most important things are cooperation and harmony rather than speed. And then, for the conclusion of my essay, traditional games can help people improve their social skills. They familiarize us with groups and encourage us to effortlessly interact with others. Traditional games educate our thoughts to cope with problems quickly by getting to the root of the problems and discovering a feasible solution. They also increase interpersonal intelligence, which is essential in building a relationship with others. It's better than playing a video games in your room all day. Why do we need to preserve this traditional game? Because this game is originally from Indonesia, so we must conserve the uniqueness of Indonesia because we are Indonesian people after all. Well, based on the things that all the things that I have been stated before, are you looking for a new ways to improve your social skills? If you do, just try traditional games. Thank you.